when you're looking at this model right on the top you see the hyoid bone so here is the hyoid bone you can see that the insertions of a number of muscles are left on one side over here uh, right over here this is the body of the hyoid here we have the lesser horns of the hyoid and then back over here and further back we have extending posteriorly the greater horns of the hyoid now the hyoid bone would be attached to the larynx by a ligament which would be right over here it's not present it would be the the thyrohyoid ligament and this large cartilage that we can see right over here it looks like it's number 14 on this model represents the this uh, unpaired large piece of cartilage called the thyroid cartilage this is the laryngeal prominence which is commonly referred to as the Adam's apple underneath the thyroid cartilage we have another unpaired cartilage which is the cricoid cartilage so this is the narrow part of the cricoid cartilage right over here and you can see it's connected to the thyroid cartilage by the cricothyroid ligament the third unpaired piece of cartilage that we can see here is right over here and this is the epiglottis the epiglottis is the cartilage which would fold over the glottis to protect the the respiratory passage from invasion by solid material when you swallow because it comes down and covers that opening when you swallow this muscle that goes from the thyroid cartilage to the hyoid is the thyrohyoid muscle and then if we look below the thyroid cartilage we have the cricoid cartilage again and you can see there is muscle that goes from the cricoid cartilage to the thyroid cartilage and this is the cricothyroid muscle over here below the cricoid cartilage we have the beginning of the trachea and you can see the c-shaped rings of cartilage that are going to support the wall of the trachea down over here